You're calling 911. What's your emergency? I have just found a hanged man and two children drowned in the bathtub. Oh my god! What is the address? Hilton Miami Airport, Blue Lagoon. Okay ma'am, police and the ambulance are on the way. Hello? Sir, we got a situation at Hilton Miami Airport, Blue Lagoon Hotel. Your presence is very important. Right away, Detective Ahmed Saeed heads to the crime scene. Are you the person who called the emergency? Yes, sir. Tell me exactly what you've seen. I knocked on the door of the room, but I found out that the door was not locked. Mm. I entered the room and I found Mr. Michael hanged in the bathroom and his kids drowned in the bathtub. Sir, we've just found this. I killed myself and my kids because I could not live with a woman shitting on me. Michael M. Okay. Oh, okay, we gotta send this to the laboratory to see if it matches Mr. Michael's handwriting or not, okay? The forensic examination showed a match between the handwriting found at the crime scene and Mr. Michael's one. However, Detective Ahmed did not buy it. The investigation team continued the search for any lead to the mother. They carefully searched the room, but they faced a dead end. Hello, Detective Ahmed Said. Have you found the cell phone of Mr. Mike Lim? No, sir. Thanks. Uh, one minute, please. What is the nationality of him? He is French, sir. Oh, he's French. Okay, thank you. Okay. After asking about Michael Lam, the embassy showed that he was married from an Indian woman, Rachel Kumar. They have been living in France since their marriage date on March 14, 2014. Mr. Lam was on the French airlines to Florida without his wife, only with his two kids. The police contacted the press and waited for any new leads. Detective Ahmed Said. Hello, Detective Ahmed. I am Monika Phillips. I am speaking to you to talk about Rackel Kuma's husband case. Actually, I know about Rackel's vacation to mm -hmm. Florida. She told me about it a week before the accident. She told me that she would join okay. her husband and her two kids to have their mm -hmm. vacation in the United States. However, she could not join them because an urgent task at her work. She had to delay her flight for one day. When I saw the news on CNN, I was completely shocked. Okay, interesting. So, do you have uh, more to say? No. I called her lots of times, but I got no answer. Okay, Miss Monica, would you call the French police to start searching for her in France? I have already done that, and they have been searching for her since the date of publishing her husband's painful news on TV. Okay, this is good. Okay, dear Monica, keep me posted, please. Okay, Detective R. Bye. Bye. Ahmed was so confused after that phone call and decided to dig more into the case. A week passed and still no sign from Rocco. The surveillance cameras of the hotel did not show any foul play. Days passed. The case became cold and it was considered closed because there was no any evidence that it was a murder. Accordingly, he decided to pay a visit to France to lead the investigation by himself, but informally, he decided to visit Monica. Hello, I'm Detective Ahmed Said. Are you Miss Monica? Yes, come in please. When Ahmed entered Monica's apartment, he got a strange feeling. When she left him to get a drink, he heard a noise. Ahmed knew that something was wrong at that place. He decided not to show any irregular reaction to Monica to know the secret. However, he was prepared for any surprise. He planted a micro camera in the front of the screen of that door to know the password. Oh, Miss Monica, do you live here alone? No. I live here with my boyfriend, Adam. Okay, tell me about him. I have been dating Adam for three months. He works as an IT engineer. Mm, interesting. Is he French? Yes, he is. Okay, Miss Monica, I gotta go now and... Uh, 
I will take a tour in Paris. Okay, Detective Armed, but kindly inform me before you go back to the United States. Oh, of course. Bye. Bye. After leaving Monica's apartment, Ahmed went to his room at Hotel Atrium. After he got some rest, he checked out what was recorded by his micro camera from his cell phone. And what he saw was very unexpectable. Once Monica opened the door, Ahmed heard a female screaming. Get me out of here. Just shut up. You will die here, Echo. No way. Adam killed your husband and kids. No, no, you're lying. He was possessed by your sexy photos on Facebook. He saw you with me for the first time on the beach. He never forgot about you. He forgot I'm his girlfriend, not you. This killed me from my inside. Once you told me about your vacation with your family, I found it an excellent opportunity to take revenge from you. I hired a hitman to abduct you and keep you here until I finish the job. I traveled to the United States on the same day your husband's flight took off. I knew the room's number from you when you called me. I booked the next room. I surprised him at that day, and we spent the day together. I put sleeping pills for him and your kids. I killed them with my bare hands and hanged your husband. I returned to France on the same day at night. I fabricated the handwriting of your husband and I did not leave any evidence behind. I knew that I would be seen on the surveillance system. That's why I entered the control room of the hotel and I installed a virus after hacking the system. It stopped the process of the recording for one hour. I learned that from Adam. He always talked about his intelligence in hacking the systems of the internet thieves to restore that data they stole from his clients. This is the only thing I benefited from my relationship with him. Meanwhile, Ahmed was watching the conversation, but not alone with the French police. Accordingly, the French police made a deal with him. They planted a tape recorder on Ahmed's chest and let him visit Monica again to record the conversation, but this time it will be with the permission of the police. Hello, dear Monica. I told myself I gotta pay you a second visit before I go home. What a beautiful surprise, Detective Armed. Okay. Please come in. After entering her apartment, Ahmed confronted Monica with the recording on his cell phone. Got you, Monica. You're just a pure evil. I got you on the video. You thought that you got away with it. You can do nothing. And if you call the police right now, you will enter the room with her. But as dead body, I don't care about anything. Everybody freeze! After the police arrived, they saved Ahmed and Rockle just in time. I owe you my life, sir. It's my job, ma'am. I'm sorry. Your husband and kids were killed at the hotel in Miami. However, saving you perhaps reduces the bitterness of what happened. Monica was arrested and deported to the United States for trial. She was sentenced to death by lethal injection and now she is on death row. Adam was never charged.